here and today I'll be showing you how to set up your HD PVR um, for the Xbox, PlayStation uh, but first we need to sort out this so what you'll need is you'll need your this thing you'll need some component cables for the Xbox or PlayStation 3 if you've got the old Xbox you should already have a set of these if you've got the new set you won't so you have to buy them but they're £2.95 on eBay so that's pretty cheap so you need those you'll need the cables that came with the machine the HD PVR which are these guys here big kind of solid cable um, for Windows you're in luck because you've got your own software now if you are a Mac user like I am, do not worry, for one you won't need this but I've got some other software which I'll show you later in the video which you can use. And also you'll need the power adapter. Now first we'll start with the, this and what you need to plug in. So you turn around the machine to the back, you'll be greeted with all of these things up here. Now it's very simple, you plug red into red blue into blue, green into green, white and red but you're probably thinking well that's the same uh, for both you could plug Xbox and the ones with the HD PVR anywhere well no what you'll do and I'll show you now is so get the HD PVR components that you get with the machine and sort them out so we'll do white first so you'll plug white in uh, which goes there you plug red to red. These the HD PVR ones go on the top, and you'll do green to green, blue to blue, and red to red, and that is it for the first bit. So that is the first thing you'll need to do. Now, you've, as I've said, there's cables at the bottom. Now, for those, you'll need your Xbox or PlayStation component cables. So for this, I'm doing Xbox. Um, and you'll do the same so just make sure you've got them all sorted out so I'm just doing from this side so you'll do red to red uh, blue to blue and green to green and then you'll have uh, these a white and a red one and you do white to white if I can get it in and red to red so basically you're sorted so the HD PVR cables go at the top and your Xbox ones go at the bottom now the yellow one you do not need that you can just fling that away right so that is that is pretty much it for that but you'll also need the, the power adapter which goes on the, sorry for all the cables in the way, uh, you'll need that and that goes on the far, the far one at the back where it says use only the power supply provided. So you plug that in there right at the end here and then you'll plug that into the mains and when you've done that it will light up, okay? So just plug this in like that. So there'll be nothing on the front, it'll be, it'll it'll show it's on because it'll be light up blue there so that knows you're in business the front here you won't need those for this uh, well I haven't used them so you won't use them because mine runs fine right so the next thing we need to do is plug the, some of these cables into the back of the TV right so the next step is you need uh, the HD PVR back cables remember there's the other end to them there's all of these guys you need to plug those into the back of the TV it's the same principle as we did with uh, the HD PVR when we plug them in. You get it's first of all green to green. Now I know TVs are different on the back, but that's so you just find the green one, put it in. Next, you get the blue one, put that one in. Next, you get the red one and put that one in like that. And then you've got the two ones here, so another red and a white so same principle white to white and red to red and yeah so that bit is done there so you've just got to plug them in like on the HD PVR so you're set up for that bit next you need to plug in your uh, the your um, 
component cable into your console. Remember, for the Xbox, you don't want it on TV, you want it on HD TV. So now you've got to go and plug that into your Xbox. Um, if you've got any other like cables, if you're using HDMI cables, take those out. You will not need those because you, you'll use this. And I would say, graphics-wise, it still looks very good quality indeed. I haven't really sort of noticed that I found the graphics worse. Um, so yeah, plug that into your console. And then that is that basically done there. Right, um, now the next bit is your computer cable, so the USB. So you plug in this one here, which comes, which will go into the machine, your HD PVR. It's an odd kind of shape one, like that. I know it's difficult to see. That's what it's like. So you'll plug that in, and that goes next to the power supply way, like that. Now, for uh, Windows people, I'm afraid that's kind of it for me now. Because all you've got really to do is install the CD, connect your USB first to the computer, then install the software, and then you're good to go. Now if you're um, a Mac user like me, I'll show you the software you will need. Okay, but Mac users, you do not, you cannot use this C. Basically for you guys, it's useless, so just chuck it away. You don't need right. it. Uh, for Mac users, you'll want to go on to uh, Google or whatever your search engine is and load that up um, so the first thing you'll need to do is go onto your search and put in HD PVR capture and the stop it should say this this guy here Stephen Toth dot net and just click on that now the website, when I first saw it, I thought it was a bit odd, I wasn't too sure what was going on. Don't let that uh, put you off or anything. This is, uh, the guy who's made this software was one of the engineers on the HD PVR. So I know you're probably thinking, oh Ed, oh, Ed what about uh, ITV? ITV costs $79, Now I think that's quite expensive. Uh, for software, whilst this only costs twenty nine, uh, twenty nine ninety five dollars, so twenty nine dollars basically. So it's a lot cheaper. And I know you're probably thinking, "Well, I can pirate it." You can pirate it, but honestly, it's very. You might as well just buy it. This because it's just easier just to buy it out, and you've got it, and it works. You're not going to have any problems. You can buy the demo, but it doesn't. You can only do like one minute recording, so you're better just buying it. Right, so first of all, what you need to do is it says release for downloads, so so you can download it. Uh, so you just click here on the latest one, which is July the 16th, 2011, so far. Now, once you've done that, um, you can you click that here, and it'll start downloading down here. Um, once that is done, right, so the next thing you want to do is after you've downloaded it you want to go to ordering now this is where you can buy the software as it states here it's twenty nine dollars uh, point nine five so it's basically thirty dollars to in, if you're in the UK that's equivalent equivalent of about almost twenty pounds for this software it tells you a bit about why about why you should kind of get it and software and it kind of tells you where you can find your serial number um, for when you buy it. So you'll just read that. Now to buy it, you can do it. It's through uh, PayPal. Um, that's how I did it. And but first things first, you need to find your serial number, which you will when when you've plugged this into your Mac first. Uh, go. I'll just show you now. Actually, what you'll do is so firstly just plug in your um, HD PVR and go on to applications go straight to the bottom to hit utilities and um, <clears throat> then you want to go on to system information <clears throat> so I've got a bit of a cough uh, 
uh, so then you go on to that now this will come up and then you want to click on USB I'm not going to show my uh, serial number but you want to click on this and then that will show you what your USB is and then when you've done that click off it pin your um, whatever your code is um, for your serial number so put that in there and then you're basically done so just put that in whatever it is and then click buy now and pay through that so that is how you get the software then the guy will send you an email whoever you bought it from telling you what you have to do uh, what how it works and what you need to do so after you've downloaded the, your the software um, I'll just show you can't find it so you'll go into the software <coughs> I know it's a lot to take in, all of this, but if you just follow it step by step, uh, when you first download it, it'll say HD PVR capture, and it'll say demo. Um, but once you've unlocked it, it'll show you how you do. But what you do is you go on to uh, go down to HD VR capture and go to preferences, and you put in your serial code there. Now, after you've unlocked it all, I'll just show you um, all the things now. I've what I've shown you is so you just leave that alone there don't really need anything now when you go to this I would click constant bitrate so it's the same then next you want audio um, for all of these uh, this is what it will show now perform post processing you want that to happen so it kind of getting everything in order and for this, you, it's optional, but I kind of like it. You can view of what you're recording when you do it. So if you're recording a game, you can see it on your Mac, what you're recording when you're playing the game. I, I like that quite a lot. Uh, for everything else, don't touch this at all at the bottom. You don't need that. Uh, for video controls, if you think it's a bit dull, the kind of brightness may brighten it up a bit. Some games, you might think that. Um, and yeah, that is basically all you need for that. So that's how you set it up. For this, it's all should be fine. Um, but yeah, that's it. And just the thing at the bottom is how long you want to record for. Uh, so you can basically do the longest recording you can do at once is basically that long. So almost nine hours long. So that's quite a long time recording. But anyway, it's up to you. And of course, you can choose where you want these your uh, it to be saved wherever in your finder so you can find whatever i put mine in movies it's personal preference it's up to you anyway that's basically it um i i think yeah that's basically it if you need any help with this whatsoever because i know it's a bit daunting of uh all this all this and things like that if you need any help i'll be here to help you with anything you need anyway hope that helped